don't miss any content don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell Yes, welcome back uh, to the channel. As usual, I am your host, Selassie Fiori. So, I've been perusing through social media, and Kumasi Asante Kotoko fans are pretty angry. They are not happy with something that is happening with the GFA, Star Times, and themselves. And uh, I'm going to explain to you why Kumasi Asante Kotoko fans uh, seem to be unhappy with what is going on currently in the media with the GFA deal, with Star Times, and everything and their inability to record uh, their Premier League matches. Um, we we'll also talk about the officials that have been selected for Kumasi Asanduko Kotoko and Ash Gold as they prepare to go and represent the CAF into club competitions which are set to kick off on the 27th of November um, this month, uh, just next week if I'm not mistaken or next two weeks. Um, uh, Kumasi Asanduko Kotoko uh, will be taking on Mauritanian side uh, Nudibwa, Nudiba in the competition with Ashko taking on Salitas in also the competition as well as usual subscribe if you haven't uh, click on the notification bell uh, to get more updates so if you remember before the season started Kumasi Asante Kotoko um, had announced several deals with so many clubs they have announced a, a deal with Seek uh, they announced a deal with Hisense, they announced a kids deal with Aria, uh, they announced several deals and um, with Star Life also uh, they announced a deal. And uh, now the deal in question they announced that they are not able to use right now is the one they signed uh, with Theo. And for those who don't know, uh, Theo is a sports camera company. They allow you to record sports automatically uh, with an AI technology uh, which will according to their website uh, push the boundaries towards the future of sports recording and analysis uh, so it helps teams that use view uh, they can analyze their games after it is done and they can better help the coach improve his tactics implementation and everything about that now this is what Kumasi Asante got signed on for uh, after signing the deal with view and uh, would go in and uh, record their league matches and it will help the coach when analyzing with the video analyst uh, to see where they went wrong and try to improve things on that front. And now Kumasi Asante Kotoko went into match day one uh, against the Chiman 11 Wonders. And if you notice, if you watch the game, it was delayed by I think 11 minutes or so. The problem being that Kumasi Asante Kotoko were not allowed uh, to record their game. And now the GFA had signed a deal with Star Times who got 100% rights to the Ghana Premier League including recording, uh, distribution and everything and no one else in that deal that Star Times signed with the GFA that's what it looks like I've not read it but that's what it looks like with the things happening and uh, that no one else can record their games no other club can record their games apart from Star Times and this will be a big bother because Star Times will not be able to televise all of the games at all match centers on all match days um, though they are trying to increase their capacity uh, they will never be able to reach all 10 premier league venues or i think eight or so premier league venues on the opening weekend but that's beside uh, the point and now kumasi and Kotko wanted uh, to record their game to teach 11 one day they had apparently uh, paid some monies uh, to the fa to get the permission uh, to record their games the FA, knowing full well the deal they had signed with Star Times, collected the money and that is where the problem started. Kumasi Asante Kotoko came there with receipts um, showing evidence of payment and all and uh, the FA and Kumasi Asante Kotoko along with Star Times had an altercation which delayed the match kickoff time uh, by a further uh, 12 minutes or so. Eventually Kumasi Asante Kotoko were not allowed to record their game and on Saturday, the GFA paid back the monies uh, they took from Kumasi Asante Kotoko. They paid it back um, to um, Kumasi Asante Kotoko and, uh, and you would think that would be the end of it. Now, Kumasi Asante Kotoko have been annoyed by this. Uh, they have taken uh, to force or to engage uh, Star Times and tell them that no, they would need to still record their games to analyze them in a much better way. A GFA also insists that the deals that they have signed uh, with Star Times gives them exclusivity of the Ghana Premier League and that no other club has the right uh, to video their, even their own games. Uh, this has brought a lot of um, confusion in the Ghana Premier League. Most of the clubs 
are not happy with this new development and the recent development coming up is that Kumasi Asante Kotoko wants to reach uh, the decision or the agreements that the FA signed with Star Times because they don't know what they can or cannot do. It's not clear to most of them. In response to that, the FA have said they will have a meeting uh, with all club CEOs on Monday which is this coming Monday. But it's quite interesting uh, that no club is allowed to record its uh, game and to use it in video analysis or whatever. That is why Kumasi Asante Kotoko fans are unhappy and most of them have taken to social media and deleted the Star Times app altogether and said they will not watch uh, the Premier League if they are not going to show any Kotoko games and if Kotoko is having this arg argument with them. Uh, there have been so many things going on on social media and Kotoko fans are adamant. Um, let us record our games. We have a contract with Vio uh, that will help us in video analysis. It's not like we are going to use the videos we take on the pitch for commercial purposes which is the main reason why Star Times is not allowing anyone uh, to record this, um, this these games. Um, unfortunately, the, an arrangement has not been made yet. But Star Times are saying that the GFA and Kumasi Asante Kotoko will meet and come to a conclusion. And that is how come Kumasi Asante Kotoko fans are unhappy. Um, they are not happy that their club have gone in for a system uh, which they cannot use uh, to analyze and improve their games. And that is what uh, the FA is now um, faced with uh, the FA I don't think they thought it through when they signed that deal which gave Star Times only them the opportunity to record games but that is the agreement they signed a contract it's a contract and Star Times won't budge they have paid everything in full and uh, a compromise would have to be come to as and when that compromise is come to I'll let you guys know now as I said Kumasi Asante Kotoko are set to take on a club side of Mauritania and Nudibu in the CAF Champions League and uh, the officials for that game have been settled on the uh, referee um, Babu Tayari is the fourth official but Gaosu Kane has been named as the referee for the match and will be assisted by compatriots Baba Yomboliba and Amadou Beli Gese Amadou. Uh, Bubu Tayari will be the fourth official uh, with Abubakem Abdela uh, from Morocco as the match uh, commissioner and they will travel to Mauritania on 27th that's exactly I think a week from now uh, for that game and it's scheduled uh, to be played at the start the municipal uh, the Nwadibu uh, over there in Mauritania. Ash Gold as well the match officials have been named they will be playing um, in Burkina Faso uh, versus Salitas and now Benin's Isa Mohamed will be in charge of the Ashanti Gold game and the preliminary round against Salitas. Uh, he will be assisted by Kudub, Kudubo Augustine Augustine and Lucien Tode, Todeno uh, with Jingo Louis as the fourth official. The match commissioner is Rene Williams Seri from Cote d'Ivoire. Uh, the match is expected uh, to be played on the 29th of November or next week. Um, at 3 p.m. GMT. So all these games will be played next week. Kumasi Asante Kotoko, Ash Gold as well. Kotoko's um, Brazilian uh, has arrived in town. In case you didn't know, he has gone to the Adakojachi uh, training facility, has mingled with a couple of the players. He is being called Kumerica, <laughs> Kumerica Coutinho. <laughs> That's the new name he's being given. And he is in town. And uh, Porcupine Warriors are looking to see him add a bit more bite to their midfield creativity flair that they've been missing in there so that is why Kumasi Asante Kotoko fans are unhappy uh, the clashes between GFA and their club also we've uh, we've seen why they are unhappy uh, we've seen um, the officials for their game uh, with Nodibo in Mauritania and the return leg will be played in Ghana here uh, we'll be following it closely Ash Gold as well and also their Brazilian uh, Fabio Gama is in town. I'll see you guys in the next one. Let me know your thoughts on this GFA um, uh, Kotoko issue, start time, altercation. Let me know what you think about it. Is it right for Kotoko to be angry? Um, have you heard how is it done in your federation? Uh, the TV right holders are they the only ones who video the games or they allow the clubs to video themselves. Let me know how it's done wherever you are. I'll see you guys in the next one. Enjoy your day.